minimum force required to move a body down a rough inclined plane rough inclined plane an inclined plane is drawn this is the inclined plane vertical plane and the horizontal plane this is the horizontal plane AB is the inclined plane and uh, theta is the angle of inclination of the inclined plane with respect to the horizontal plane and theta less than theta R means angle of inclination is less than the angle of repose and the body will be at rest on, the in, on this inclined plane. This is a body having mass m, its weight mg acts vertically downwards as shown in the figure. This is the direction of the weight mg of the body. Now, mg is resolved into two rectangular components. This component is mg cos theta. In this direction, the rectangular component of mg will act and this angle will be again theta. And this component, a rectangular component is mg cos theta, which acts perpendicular to the inclined plane AB. And other rectangular component uh, is mg sin theta, mg sin theta, which acts down the inclined plane AB from the center of gravity of the body. We can connect this two points to complete one rectangle. To complete a rectangle whose diagonal is the weight, and uh, this is uh, normal reaction R. R is the normal reaction applied on the body by the inclined plane and uh, such that this normal reaction R acts perpendicular to the inclined plane AB. An external force Fx is acted on the body down the inclined plane. Fx is uh, the applied external force which acts down the inclined plane parallel to the inclined plane and it is applied to move the body down the inclined plane and limiting friction FL will be acting on the surface in contact between the body and the rough inclined plane and it acts up the inclined plane. FL is the limiting friction which acts up the inclined plane. Let Theta be the angle of inclination of the inclined plane AB. Theta be the angle of inclination of the inclined plane AB. Inclined plane AB such that such that theta less than theta r, where theta r is the angle of repose. Theta is the angle of repose at which the body is at the verge of moving down the inclined plane. The weight mg of the body placed on the inclined plane of a body of mass m placed on the inclined plane placed on the inclined plane AB on the rough inclined plane AB is resolved into is resolved into two rectangular components two rectangular components mg cos theta and mg sin theta such that mg cos theta is perpendicular to the inclined plane AB and mg sin theta is parallel to the inclined plane AB. As theta less than theta r, that means angle of inclination is less than the angle of repose, the body is at the rest, is at rest on the inclined plane 
it cannot move under the action of rectangular component mg sin theta the body is at rest on the inclined plane ab and an external force and an external force fx is applied on the body parallel to the inclined plane parallel to the inclined plane ab to move it that means to move the body down the inclined plane down the inclined plane Fx is the external force which is applied on the body down the inclined plane means parallel to the inclined plane and limiting friction FL, FL comes to play up the inclined plane in this direction. Now the limiting friction FL, the force of limiting friction FL acts up the inclined plane AB on the surface in contact between the body and the plane. Now FL, the limiting friction acts up the inclined plane, hence at this equilibrium condition the body is at the verge of, uh, verge of moving, applied external force is equal to net internal force experienced by the body in the opposite direction. External force Fx act down the inclined plane and net internal force should be acting up the inclined plane. Net inclined force acting in the opposite direction. Therefore, if we draw the diagram inclined plane, a body is placed on the inclined plane. External force Fx is acted down the inclined plane to move the body. Down the inclined plane. Fx is acted down the inclined plane and mg sin theta is a rectangular component of weight of the body which acts down the inclined plane and limiting friction Fl acts up the inclined plane. Here Fl and mg sin theta are the two internal forces. Hence uh, applied external force is Fx and net internal force acting in the upward direction is Fl minus mg sin theta. Fx is equal to mu dot r minus mg sin theta where limiting friction Fl is equal to mu dot r where and a, mu is the coefficient of static friction or coefficient of friction of the inclined plane. Mu is the coefficient of friction of the inclined plane with respect to the body and uh, r is uh, an fl is equal to mu dot r according to law of limiting friction fl is equal to mu dot r fx is equal to mu into mg cos theta minus mg sin theta since r equal to mg cos theta which is the normal reaction acting on the body applied by the inclined plane normal reaction force in the diagram, mg cos theta is a rectangular component of weight which acts perpendicular to the inclined plane and normal reaction R acts perpendicular to the inclined plane but in upward direction here R will be equal to mg cos theta at equilibrium and therefore we get Fx equal mg is taken common mg bracket open mu cos theta minus sin theta. So we get the expression of minimum force to move a body down the inclined plane provided theta is less than theta r. This is the minimum force this is the minimum force to minimum force required to move a body to move a body down the rough inclined plane 